Welcome back to Future Scott Friday. I'm your host, Danny. And I'm your other host, Noor. If you recall from last week, I think you already know who our guest is going to be. He's making Future Scott Friday history, returning to have a second episode because he's just got so much good stuff to talk about. President Abernathy. If you saw last week's episode, you know that we talked to President Abernathy about his experience going through the admissions process with his son, Rowan, as well as his time at Alma. This week, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into that and hear a a bit about what he likes to do outside of Alma for fun. Have you learned anything new about the college admissions process just from the parent perspective? I have learned how important even in COVID world, uh, you know, getting to know the campus and getting to know faculty and staff is, uh, you know, Rowan had a visit uh, on, on campus uh, uh, that I was largely not a part of, and uh, he got to go to a classroom uh, and uh, and talk with some faculty members, uh, and uh, incredible uh, for him to, to talk with Dr. Danny Wasserman of the History Department and Dr. Sandy Hall of Political Science um, to sit in classes uh, sit in Dr. Holmes' class and uh, and see the campus from that perspective. It's so important uh, for you know our kids to to go and have that college experience in that way, even if it's uh, you know in this virtual environment. So Alma provides uh, those experiences in, in the course of the, the visit, in the course of the application process, and I definitely recommend that uh, parents make sure their kids you know, take advantage of, uh, of those, those opportunities. Uh, because it's it's through those conversations that uh, you will come to know uh, the caring nature of these these faculty, uh, their commitment to that student life. You mentioned not being really a part of the the process as much with your son. I was I was curious if you went on the the tour. <laughs> so in my case, uh, you know, my we live on the campus. Uh, mm-hmm. when, when folks come to campus, you'll see my house. I'm, I'm literally across yeah. the street from my office. Uh, so We're neighbors. I mean, we, we are neighbors. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're all in this community. And so Rowan knows this campus, uh, you know, like mm-hmm. the back of his hand, of course. So I thought it was important to let him do uh, the tour on his own, ask his own questions, not feel like, uh, you know, dad is, you know, on the tour and, you know, get, get the tour guide nervous or anything like that. <laughs> Outside of Elma, what do you like to do for fun? Oh my goodness! Well, it's no surprise. It will be no surprise to any student here that I'm a cyclist. Um, I, uh, you know, you'll see me around campus all the time riding my, my bike, and uh, that's 12 months a year for uh, for me. So I'm, uh, you know, uh, uh, very much a fan of all all uh, manner of uh, cycling, all kinds of cycling. Race on occasion. Just ran a marathon with my wife here a few weeks ago, and uh, so those sorts of things. Uh, hiking, camping uh, with, uh, with my family, uh, likewise. Love this community for uh, uh, for recreational activities of all, all sorts. So we've got a 40 mile bike trail that leaves from this campus out to Greenville, uh, and uh, that is a rare thing. Yeah, I feel like it's it's just kind of part of Elmo. Like I feel like college wouldn't be the same without seeing you on your bike. <laughs> Is there a destination that you'd like to visit one day for a bike trip? Yeah, well, Scotland for sure. So, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, my wife and I want to lead a uh, trip to Scotland for uh, alumni and we hope for uh, you know, mm-hmm. students as, as well. So that that is on our bucket list uh, here for the next uh, next couple of years, actually. Uh, and uh, excited about uh, about that opportunity. I've uh, I've actually been to Scotland and it's really beautiful. And I definitely suggest that you go during that summertime when the the fringe <laughs> festival is happening. Absolutely. And go to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival because it's an awesome experience. That is the goal. We would uh, I like to cycle into Edinburgh right at that, about that time. Do you have any final words of wisdom for our prospective students that are trying to make their college decision right now? So often we tend to think of the college experience um, just in terms of transactional matters. And you know, we have to consider those as parents, as, as students looking at college. So it's, you know, we're all thinking about what that first job is. Um, after after college, and all of us at Alma College are focused on those questions. Um, but college, in the end, must be, and Alma College is about uh, the transformation that take place here. And you, you know, Danny, have, have seen this in your your time. Uh, ultimately, uh, Alma College is about uh, you know, creating uh, opportunities for students to become those leaders and citizens that we aspire for them to be, uh, and uh, that's where we want students to, to live. We want students to think about how if they're learning in the classroom, if they're learning on the ball field, if they're learning in groups and organizations, how that all connects to the lives that they'll lead. And 
even as we're going to prepare students for their first job, ultimately in our market education, it's about a rich life. Um, and it's about that last job as well. It's about the arc of a career. And um, so we really encourage students as they're looking at Alma College uh, to you know, think about this, that transformational possibility. That's awesome. Um, so one last thing. We have something called Alma This or That. And basically, it's just a series of questions that we just kind of fire at you. Okay. The first question is SAC or Dow? Dow. Starbucks or Highland Blush? Starbucks. Rec center or weight room? Weight room. Highland chicken or popcorn chicken? Highland chicken. Bagpipes or Highland dance? Ooh, oh, that's rough. That's <laughs> rough. I'm not sure I can uh, make a choice, but uh, I'll go with bagpipes. Um, football game or basketball game? Football. Serendipity or Cold Stone? Serendipity. <laughs> Galston or Brusky? Galston. It's our first yeah. part. part. <laughs> and uh, the big question Pizza One or Pizza Sam's? Oh, Pizza One. Sorry, Sam. Sorry, Sam. We love you, but I uh, when we were with Pizza One. <laughs> yeah, that's the right answer. We got the lunch money with Pizza One. It makes sense. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Our, our family calls Pizza One for sure. <laughs> well, thank you so much again for being here and sharing your knowledge and wisdom with our future Scots. It was really fun, and I feel like I learned some things. So thank you again. If you have anything else to add, Thank you all for this time, for the great work you're doing and hosting these uh, Future Scott Fridays. I'm uh, delighted for the, for the chance and uh, I look forward to visiting with our prospective students and their families in the weeks ahead. And, and they should know they can always reach out to me if there's uh, anything that they need. Just uh, shoot me an email or give me a call uh, you know, here at the office. Love to, love to hear from our prospective students. Thanks, everybody. Go Scots. I hope you all enjoyed our two-part series with President Abernathy. And maybe if you come to campus, you might see him riding his bicycle. Make sure to tune into future episode episodes. We have a great lineup of future guests. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook or visit our website at alma.edu slash Friday. I hope you all have a great second semester and go Scots. <laughs>